Welcome back everybody, this is Edwin the Magic Engineer and I've got some cool tools to show you guys today. I've just got a little assortment here of just some cool things that are kind of like for detecting counterfeits in your cards, just little microscopes and lights and cool things and yeah, I, I just realized I never really made a video to have all these things in like one spot to kind of just show them to you. And um, some of them are tools I use pretty often if I'm trying to detect if a card is fake or just verify how legit some things might are or just, you know, just various other purposes also. Yeah, I'd never made a video about it before and I thought it might be fun, it might be interesting. So let's get to it. Let me show you some of these cool tools. So first, I'm going to switch over to uh, my down camera here. And what you can see here is I've got some magic cards. And uh, this is a real library of Alexandria. This is a fake. This is a real Tundra. And this is a fake beta. And so I'm just going to have these here for doing some of the comparisons. Now, one of the first ones that you might imagine is actually just a loop. And uh, I, this one actually really wasn't very expensive. I think it was around $20 on eBay. And what many of them will have is lights on the bottom. Oh, is this battery dead? Oh, geez, I left this thing on. Oh, okay, I'll have to like come back and uh, work on that a bit. But these, they go ultraviolet, so you can actually, it's like a black light, and they also just go white light for helping you see the actual card. And it's really nice for using these because you can actually um, get real close in there and you can see if I can get this focused right you can see the individual text that's on the card like real well it's not it's not gonna come through real well on the camera without the light so I'll, I'll come back to that so this is like your first tool but these are only like 20 bucks and they oftentimes come with like a little case and you could just get them on Amazon real cheaply so that's real nice now another one is you could just get a little mini pocket scale now, okay, of course, this one, I put ETME on it because I travel with this and just in case I lost it or forgot it somewhere, I wanted to be able to um, have that easily accessible. And then also so people could see who it belongs to. <clears throat> so when you turn the scale on, it'll just center or uh, um, calibrate itself. And this is actually a pretty sensitive scale. So if I put a real card on here, you can see the approximate weight. Now notice if I like, make wind on it, it'll actually change the reading. So you gotta be, they're, they're pretty sensitive. You gotta be real careful with them. And just try to get a good, nice, clear reading on what that card actually is. Now, if I take the fake card, I put that on. Look at that difference. That is very clear, right? And this scale was only like $10, I think. Here's a real library of Alexandria. Notice how close it was to the revised Tundra in its actual weight. Now here's a proxy. Well, actually, I should say counterfeit because it actually is, is marked to look as real as possible. Now, look how much lighter that one is. It's quite a bit different, right? So this, this counterfeit is actually much heavier, and this counterfeit is actually much lighter. That's actually very interesting. This is an interesting counterfeit as well because this one is actually from a batch that was made, I think, a long time ago, way back in like 96 or earlier. And Tavis King even got real excited about this one when I told him about these ones that I'd gotten years ago because apparently he'd heard about this specific batch. But anyways, so scale, that's a real good way to tell. And let's see, let's move on to the next one here. The next one I think is really cool. Um, Rudy was showing these on his channel. Um, it's just a little like stick light and like on the surface here is just like a whole bunch of white LEDs that are very bright. And this one runs, I believe, on triple A's. And I was able to get it on Amazon for like $17. And I'm sure it's gonna wash out the camera here. So you can see, yeah, it's way too bright for the camera. Now what's nice about this is if you put this on the top of a card, that's a fake card, see how there's, let's see if I can get it right in the light. See that it's like a yellow light that comes through there? I don't know if it comes through too well in the camera. It's because it's just so bright. But the, the card comes through very yellow, and um, there's no real splotchiness to it or anything. Now, if I go to a real Library of Alexandria, look at that difference. If you can see that. Oh, that's so clear in person. Let's see if I can get that to focus in on it, because it's worth it if you can get a good view of it. Like, if you can see right here, 
it actually shows the lettering for, oh gosh, I got to get that if I can. You can actually see the back of a magic card and all these blotches and stuff through through the card. And here, let's just try it like this. See how like yellow and different this one is? Just immensely different. I mean, you can't see the patterns too well on the video, unfortunately. It looks like a lightsaber on the video. But what you can tell is that there's a massive different tinting difference in the, in the actual cards. Let's see what this one actually looks like. This is the Thinner Tundra. That actually looks more like the original uh, Magic card. Now let's try this one. Yeah, that one actually looks a little bit more like the original. So with this kind of light test, it would be even harder to tell with this one. Maybe because it's just so much thinner, right? Is like one way that that becomes a little bit more difficult to tell. So this was just a really neat light. Um, I liked it because it was small and portable and very bright. And just in person, you guys have got to see what it looks like in person. I actually have a picture on my Instagram channel also. If you click the link below in my video, or you just like scroll down and look below, I do have uh, my Instagram channel listed on there, and I do have pictures of this taken with the camera where you can actually see much better what it actually looks like. Now, another tool here is this is actually, you'd think it's a flashlight. It looks like a flashlight, but it's actually just a black light. And this black light is really cool because some versions of cards, uh, some specific sets, show up an awful lot more than like others. They fluoresce more than others. Now, none of these are of that specific version. Um, so you're not going to see it as much on here, but I think there's like some versions of fourth edition and stuff that will actually fluoresce more under a black light. And you can, of course, get them in varied sizes as well. This one's just much bigger, right? Um, these all just run on double A's and triple A's. Um, they're, but you know, that's also really cool for other things. Like this is, um, this is my hand created Mox Ruby that is actually, this actually is a real Ruby. And this is pretty cool because when ultraviolet light actually hits a Ruby or a Sapphire, a stone called Corundrum, it'll fluoresce more than normal. I don't know if you can tell, it gets really bright when the light is on it. It just glows like crazy. It's the coolest thing. You guys have got to see this in person. So anyways, just black lights can be good for cer certain cards and certain sets. And then you've got a razor blade. So you can, I'm just kidding. You know, you don't use the razor blade for anything. I'm just, I'm full of it. <laughs> we don't use the razor blade for anything. But then the next one I want to show you is you see this little guy right here. In fact, let me switch back to the other camera so you can actually see this better. So this, it's like a little USB microscope and it wasn't very expensive and it has a, um, a light adjust here and then you twist the middle here to get the focus uh, adjustment and the cable just plugs into a USB port. But you know what's really nice about this compared to the loop is if you actually wanted to send somebody actual video, this actually puts out very highly magnified video that can be seen by other people. So you could record some video, then email it to other people or just use it to take really good pictures. In fact, I'm gonna show you that. So I'm gonna take this and set it down and go back to the other camera. And now I'm going to turn on its output. So here we go. This is live here. I'm, I'm looking right underneath the microscope. Now if I come over here and I put say a tundra on here, you can, this is a real tundra. And you can tell here, you can see, see how nice and clear all the text there is. In fact, I might even just use my Rudy pointer here. Where is it? Here we go. See how clear all the black text is when you're, you're looking at it. It's just all the letters are very nice and sharp, right? Then if we take the proxy tundra here, which is made to look like a beta in this case, if you look at the, the text here, you can see that the black text is actually like not nearly as crisp. And these are much, much um, larger letters as well. So I mean, like, look again, there's the revised one. See how clear that is? And then look at this. You can see like how fuzzy that is. And if you get this guy actually set up correctly now, I can turn up the light on it to make it brighter. And sometimes when it's turned up like this, you can even see the actual print pattern or the lack thereof right there. Now let's take an actual card. Now see that pattern? 
you've got it right there in the video. You've got that honeycomb pattern, you know, just like people are always describing. You can see the, the print dots, um, the rosettes is another thing that everybody calls it very clearly. Now, this is a real tundra. If we go back to the other tundra, let me get it right on the border. See right there? It's no rosettes whatsoever. And also, look at this word land. See how very clearly fuzzy that is? Not, not very sharp at all. Now, if I come over here to the real land, look at that. Not only can you see the rosettes very clearly, but you can actually see how sharp the actual, the black layer from that printing actually is. And notice that not all the black is that sharp. Like if you look at the black here on the border, like this, like two black and a blue with white in between border for the text box inside, you can tell that this border right here actually is a little bit grainy as well. Like it's not as sharp as the text. You can see that as well. Like if you look at the title tundras up here. The black text here, like on the sides of the letters and stuff, is very sharp. But then when you look at the box, the text box, you can see it gets a little grainy again. Those are the kind of details you can start to look for, right? And here we go. This one. This is the fake Library of Alexandria. And I think that was probably clear to you guys as soon as I popped it on the camera. Look at like how, how grainy the, le the lettering is there. I mean, the rosette pattern is on the letters. It wasn't a separate printing run. But then when you actually switch over to the real Library of Alexandria, look how clear that is. Super nice and clear, right? And this is also kind of cool. See the signature down here? Uh, this is my Mark Poole signature. Now apparently he did this with a ballpoint pen and he didn't do that for much, many years after 1994. So that means basically this is like a really old signature. I'll turn the light back down. So I just thought that that was pretty cool. I thought you guys would enjoy that, um, being able to see you know, those different tools. And um, I'll search around to post links for all these individual tools below in the video. So if you guys are interested in it, you can see where to get them online and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, I just, I thought it would be fun to share. So I hope you guys all enjoyed that and I'll talk to you later. Bye.